special friends today. And if I had to describe them in two words, they would be... Huh. Gay. Oh, that was a good intro. Okay. So, what's up, guys? Expert Greatness here from IXO Gaming, And uh, today we got a podcast for you guys. With Gunner Jeff 90 from Your Big Noom. Uh, Kurt. That's from it. His mom's Striker. Striker is also here. In case you guys AKA didn't hear that. Luke. All right, so um, yeah, sure. this is the Shut this, up, is, Kurt. this is the first episode of um, Aim Down Sight or ADS. That's gonna be the name of our special podcast here with special friends. Very excellent <laughs> name, I might add. So um, I so this is our first podcast. Um, I mean, we could talk about that, or we could talk about Black Ops Two. Which which would you guys rather? Ah, uh, Black uh, Ops Two. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Kurt, you don't have to keep doing the gay voice. That's his Why not? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, let's I talk like about to have wops. So but I'm that's, curious. No, that's not that's not a voice, Kurt. That's his normal voice, isn't it? Yes. Kurt's just gay. It just sounds gay, like. Okay, guys. Enough with this whole gay topic. Yeah, let's let's jump off of gay Kurt and get onto Black Ops too. Uh, but I like gay Kurt. <laughs> Striker likes gay Kurt. Okay, so okay. um, so the first topic is Black Ops 2. I wanted to talk about how objective focused it is, cause the score streak thing I think is really gonna, you know, reward people from playing the objective. Mm -hmm. Good. But, it's good. So, uh, one question so I have it's to not gonna help me. wonder. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna help me <laughs> either. But um, one thing I'm gonna wonder is, so how many? I don't. You probably know this, but I don't. How many points do you get for? Capturing the flag in domination. You get 150. one. Yeah, 150. And like, okay, so let's say, okay, so striker, what is the game? What do you play the most? Is it domination? Definitely domination. Okay, so, so you're gonna get 150 points from cla capturing a flag in about if like. You do. If you do. Yeah. Ca um. Yeah. And you're going to get um. How many points is a kill? A kill is 50. Oh, see, so it's, so it's worth three kills. Injection. So yeah, and I think an assist is like 20 or 15 or something. They might change that. It might be like 25. But a UAV, so like a UAV, a standard UAV, is 375 points. So you're going to need like six oh, or seven. Yeah. You're going to need like six or seven kills for a UAV if you're not playing the objective. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. It's because uh, when I was talking to my brother about this, I'm like, so if you capture a flag, you have like, if it was, because in, uh, I think in capture the flag, isn't it like, Five point or like equivalent to five points in. How many points is a cap? And it's capture flag three also. Uh no, it's only one point. But in capture the flag. Oh, and capture the flag. Oh, I'm not sure. Because I'm pretty sure I, my brother said that it was worth more. It was I like think it's five. three. No, I think it's three. It might be five hundred actually. You might be right. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. I was like, I was. Because I was like, wow, so you can just basically get a Predator missile. But now I realize that it's different. No, no, no. The score streaks are changed. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, like, no, you're you going to get, like, a UAV, maybe. If you have RCA XD cards, like, 325, I think. It's a little bit yes, less than UAV. Brandon. Yeah. Are, are you saying that, like, this game is going to be more objective players and not, like, I'm slayers? Not, oh, I'm not saying it's going to have more objective players because people, there's still going to be people that are going to care about their KD more than they care about getting kill streaks. Like me. Um, Wait, which... so is there going to be, like, something in the bottom right hand corner saying, like, you have 450 points? Something no, like that? but there's a bar. It's, no, there's a bar, and um, it kind of, it doesn't show you exactly, but it lets you know whereabouts you are towards getting your next streak. So it's not like exactly, but it's like, it goes up, you know, it's not, it's not like it's, you know, I'm sure there's some scale to it, but it doesn't like list that scale. Oh, okay. So it's not going to be like every, you're not going to know if you're like 10 points off, but you're going to know that you're close. You know what I mean? You're going to know that you're yeah. within like a hundred or something. Like yeah. That. Yeah. You're going to have an idea as to when you're going to get a kill streak based on this bar. There is a, it's not going to be like super exact, like, yeah, yeah. There's... yeah. At least that's what I'm understanding. But um, but I think that I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how it changes the way people play because like, Modern Warfare Three, they tried to reward people from playing the objective, but it didn't work. Like it wasn't enough. No. Because yeah, because it, it's only one, one you, kill. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, like it's a lot easier to get one kill than a freaking flag cap on B that's in the middle of the map that you're gonna die five times trying to get. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Story of Brandon's life. 
But um, <laughs> see, I wonder. I I hope they do this. I hope they change how much points you get. Like I hope if you capture the spawn flag, it's like a hundred points, and if you capture the B flag, it's like two hundred fifty. I don't think. Good. I think they, that they should. I think that, that they should. That would be hard. Like it, from what I'm understanding, that might be hard. Why would that be hard? I don't. I don't know. But programming, <laughs> I, you know. Like I don't think that would be hard. Do you know how much like, money they make from this, though? Dude, I don't think that'd be hard programming, but yeah, because think about it, because they'd have to basically. Well, I guess I guess they could say that it, within the first like twenty seconds of the game, whatever flag cap, or at least the, like the first two flag caps of the game are only worth that, or something like that. Just make it to where the flags that you spawn at. The first flags, the f yeah, the fir the spawn flag, like when you spawn. So, the fir so like the first. The first flag for like okay, teams. so every domination map you spawn at a flag, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I would know this because I have yeah. a lot. And for those two flags at the beginning of the game, just make it to where. I mean, yeah, even I understand, if you, I understand even, what you're saying, but even I feel if you like, have I, to make it to where those two flags only give you 100 points throughout the game, they should still make it that way. Yeah, but Brandon, what if you have a map like uh, say interchange? Like, what is that gonna do? There's no spawn flag. You're right. There's no. So on that. So on that one, you it, make. They would just do the first two flags captured in the game. No, 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 no. On that map, what you do is um. It's C and A. No, no, no. What you do is you make like every like every flag except for B worth like 200 or something or like 150 whatever, and then you make B worth 250. That's what they should do. They should just make every other flag besides B worth 150 at any time, and every flag that is B worth 250. Yeah. 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 Okay, we should have we should have probably came up with this idea before, like a lot a lot earlier today. If we're gonna actually tell them they should do this. I mean, oh, well, uh, we didn't know that they were gonna do score streaks, which I think is a good idea, though. I think it's a good idea, but that's yeah. you know whether they make B flag more or not, it's still gonna encourage people to play the objective. Um. So, so go ahead. Carry on. No, so are you guys are you guys done with your points on objective? Because I got more on Black Ops Two. I want to talk about. Yeah, well, I have. I have two that a kind little of go around the objectives. Yeah, I have a little thing that's kind not. It's not objective. It's the score streaks. Is is it only uh, one uh, like strike package type thing? Like yes, it was all the other There's games? no specialist or support. It's all. It's all. It's all sold yes. or whatever. Um, but not really. So it's sold. like. If you die, your kill streaks yeah, up to that point are gone. Yeah, yeah, they reset. Thank God for no support. Yeah, by so, the way, um, I don't know if my brother was fucking with me or anything. Or sorry if I'm not supposed to curse or anything, but whatever. Uh, no fucking swearing on this podcast. Okay, so <laughs> I can't think that's the. I don't. It doesn't matter. But um, fuck. <laughs> what am I gonna say? Oh, okay. My brother said that um. So there's there was a specialist, but it wasn't. If you get specialist bonus, there's not all the perks. No, no, no. There's no specialist. No, you nothing. can you can have up to six perks in one class. Yeah, yeah I, I but got. But there's that. no way that you can get more perks by getting kills in one life. There's not that. You just let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about the uh, whole point class thing. Oh, the ten point class ah, thing. Ah, so yeah. the, the you don't have to have a primary weapon. I was watching yeah, Vicstar. <laughs> You don't, that's, yeah, you, you don't have to have gonna, any weapons. That's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be kind of weird. You can have, well, I was watching, ah, uh, Jesus, I was watching Woody, and he was saying, uh, there's gonna be, like, three types of knives, supposedly. Yes, so, there's going heard, to be, I heard uh, two, but... No, 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 there's going to be three, and there, he, the way that I saw that commentary, it, I think I understood what he said, but it, the way that he said it, I could understand why somebody may be confused. So, yeah. so in Call of Duty, there's really, there's been two knives traditionally in almost every game. Tactical mm -hmm. knife. Tactical During, knife and oh, the knife. and the default knife that you can always hit. Yeah. Um, so is there gonna be that and then like and then this, knife no, thing? and then this combat knife, which is when you don't have a weapon, you get you get this combat knife, and you don't have to spend a point on it. You get it if you don't have a weapon. So like so you can it's also basically ballistic vest. I mean not ballistic, ballistic knife. No, it's and it's you're blackout. you're carrying a knife. It's you're like carrying a Bowie knife or something. So it's it's a tac knife, but not like but not with, with, like, it's, it's no just, gun. You're just carrying yeah, a knife, just, and it's just, called just like a giant K bar. Yeah, and you're just carrying it and running around with it, and it's um. That's Dude, a one hit kill. Yeah, and apparently no, I'm pretty sure the other knife is a one hit kill as well. 
Oh, is it? I thought it was yes. two. Yes. So there was one point in the stream where somebody got a knife hit marker, but there's only one. And you know how you sometimes do get knife hit markers for whatever reason in Call of Duty? Yeah. But I think that's what people think happened there because every other time somebody's killed somebody with the default knife, it's been a one knife. So panic knifing is coming back. Yes, but let me tell you this. The, the, back, the, lunge, the lunge, the lunge, the lunge. The lunge is so small though, if you watched all- I watched three out of the four live streams, most of them- two of them I didn't watch live. And um, and let me tell you, the lunge is like zero to none. You have to be touching the guy pretty much to knife him. That's Ooh, good. Um, Unless you have the combat knife, by the way, I think. I think the combat knife does have lunge. So, um, in, in uh, Modern Warfare 3, like in all the Call of Duties, but there's kind- like- in Modern Warfare 3, sometimes you have, like, basically no lunge, and then sometimes you have a big lunge. It's kind yeah. of inconsistent. Um, yeah, but it looked pretty consistently like you had no lunge in this game. I'll say that. Yeah. But they could okay. tweak that. Who knows? Um, Hopefully, there's basic, there, there has to be a little bit of that lunge. There's, there's, going, otherwise... there's going to be times in this game where you feel like you got knifed by somebody, and you didn't deserve to die there because he just froze up on his butt on his you know controller or whatever and click knife but i don't think it's going to be like every other death like it is in modern warfare 3 and black ops at least for me now there's another knife there's another knife i want to talk about the combat axe that is like the tomahawk from black ops yes that yeah. looks sick it it just looks like a futuristic why, tomahawk why do, you, why do you want to talk about that there's nothing yeah, because what are you talking about because I love to talk about. It. They just started I don't care. It's okay, important. so no, now it's that we're not. done with knives, is there a game mode with three teams? Yeah, four yeah, teams, yeah, four, yeah, teams, yeah. four teams, four teams, four teams, and I think there's multiple four? game modes. I think there's multiple game modes with multiple teams. Because I've seen multi-team deathmatch and I've seen multi-hard point. What's hardpoint? Oh, is hardpoint the uh, hard drop point, zone without hardpoint is drop packages. zone without care packages, basically. Yeah, yeah. And hard. it has kill streaks in it, obviously, since there's no care package. Yeah, yeah. So, dude, I hate drop zone. The care packages and drop zone. I was, uh, I have a, in my vault. There, I was on a nine kill streak with a sniper in like thirty seconds, and a care package fell on me and killed me. <laughs> I was uh... so mad. <laughs> I was like, it's Are called you don't. It's called don't sit on the red circle. Dude, no, it was on a hard hat, so it like fell down, and it was it pissed me off. Like, imagine that gravity is in video games. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, and then I was also playing a hard hat, and it literally the care package rolled halfway through the uh to tunnel. I hate that when the care packages it, like, have it, magnets. It like rolled through the tunnel and killed like four of my teammates. I was just like, wow, that sucks for you. It, the care package was building a feed. It was going for a montage clip. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's. Dude, I I wish care packages, but at least your teammates' care packages couldn't kill you. I've died My so team many team times team from team, especially um uh the worst are uh fuck, god damn it, uh escort airdrop. The escort airdrop's horrible, cause uh, you'd be like capping capturing one of the care packages and then another one will just fall on you. It's so oh, stupid. just wait till they all drop and then you go. All right. Why are you on Kurt. Get back. <laughs> okay, we all know how drop zone works in Modern Warfare 3. I want to talk about something else, Black Ops 2. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so if you guys watch the live streams like I did, or if you know that much about it, you know that like they did a freaking lot of stuff to support competitive play and MLG um, stuff. Like they have live streaming built in and like shout casting and like all this stuff that they did to focus it towards competitive play they have the league play and all that stuff that's awesome I what do you guys think about this oh um, well, I think it's gonna be I don't really know what to think about it but I'm gonna I give mean, that I'm gonna give my opinion a minute go ahead Kurt uh, I think the MLG aspect of it is like that's already we already know that's gonna happen like that's happened with every Call of Duty it's obvious that that's gonna happen just the involvement with Call of Duty actually helping them is really good okay so I agree that it's good I agree that it's good like it's good that Call of Duty knows that there's you know competitive things and that they need to not just ignore that and they need to support it because like Modern Warfare 3 
got taken off of uh, the MLG circuit because it ignored it so much and the LAN was so screwed up. Um, but here's what I think. I don't want them to go... It's, it feels like to me... Now, I could be completely off on this, but... It seems like that is their whole entire focus of this game is to support MLG play, and I do not want that to be the entire focus. I don't want to be in those matches. Like, if I'm fourth prestige, the lobby's filled with fourth prestiges with the same like skill level. No, no, like no. Heaven, Dude, that's bad. not. That's not what I'm saying, though. I don't. Oh, well, I, I'm still gonna say that. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want that. I agree. I'm. Uh, yeah. That's not the case though. That's that's only going to be the case if you're in league play and that's not going to be based on prestige or anything. You play what's called um placement. So isn't it scored per minute basically? No, no, no. It's not based on any of that. It's based on what you do is when you go to play in that playlist, first you have to play placement uh -huh. matches. And um and those will like rank you based on a percentile. So you'll be like top 10 percentile or whatever and you'll be in a league that involves, you know, the top 20% of the uh Call of Duty people that are also in league play or whatever, and so Couldn't you, will, you just, like, so you once like, you go into yeah. that league play playlist, you will be playing other people that are in the top twenty percent. But wait, wait, wait! Can I quote Can Ryan Davis rants? Go ahead. I want to pwn noobs. Okay, so first off, Davis does not know what pwning noobs is. I'm just gonna say yeah, that right now. Davis <laughs> is a noob, so he's the one that gets pwned. <laughs> oh, so okay. I don't, I don't mean to be mean, but he's he's bad. <laughs> Okay, He's no. An objective player. We love Ryan Davis here at uh at yes. ADS. But um Oh, what was I going to say? So, there's still going to be that playlist that it's 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 not it's not like there's a ranked and unranked playlist. There's league play and then there's, you know, regular matches. So, it's going to be they had this in Black Ops if people didn't know. They pretty much had this in Black Ops, not not like to the to the extent that it is going to be in Black Ops 2. But in Black Ops, they had a um, bare bones competitive playlist, and it had like no kill streaks. Um, certain perks were disabled. You couldn't use rapid fire and all these things. It was basically MLG uh, rules, you know, or competitive rules like game battles rules. And um, and typically the best players played in that. And like that for me personally, that made me a lot better at Call of Duty playing against better players. And um, and it also created for a lot of good matches because they were real competitive and stuff. But um, yeah, that's. It's it's the same thing. It's just too more of an extreme because they're going to be in different. There's going to be different leagues and stuff. So like for somebody like Davis, who probably isn't going to be top ten percent of Call of Duty what? players, he can play against people his skill level and be in competitive matches. What if you're in a party like that? What if I'm playing with him or we're I'm playing with you like me? See, I don't. Jeff Curtin, I was just thinking about him. that as I was saying that. I have no idea how that's going to work. Maybe. You're gonna have average, to like maybe maybe if you're time. like maybe if you're in a party with people in different leagues than you, then you can't play league play or something. Well, do you think that maybe they'll like average out? No, the I don't think they will percentile? do that. They might, but I don't think they'll do that because then it'll I don't know. I think that will. I think what they'll do is they'll just disable it for parties with people in different leagues, because then that yeah. that's gonna that's gonna defeat the purpose of it because then there's just gonna be parties of people that get like lower lower. You know, there's mm -hmm. gonna be there's gonna be one guy who's like in the top five percent, and you're gonna yeah. see you're gonna see freaking people on Twitter asking, "Hey, I need five players with under a point two KD." Message, you know, yada yada on Xbox people, Live. Yeah, exactly. People are just gonna go kill themselves like eight hundred times, lower the KD. But that's that they the I, but then again they also aren't making it the whole game. They're just making a playlist because they they want people to be able to just play you yeah, know yeah. casually if they want to i just feel like people are gonna throw their placement matches like but why yeah. would they do that if they can just play in normal games yeah that's, that's the thing if it since it's gonna be playlist and or the placement and the like other one that's not ranked well, then people won't they're not gonna throw their placement stuff because there's no point in doing why that. wouldn't you throw the placement because if you because then you don't have to play in the noobs yeah, but then, but then once you play against noobs and you do really well, yeah, yeah, then you get you moved do, up. Yeah, you get moved, oh, you up. Get moved up. Yeah, you do. You get moved think, up and you think, get... Think about this. Jeff. Yeah. Well, but you said placement. I thought it's like two matches. No, it's. I think no, it's, it's four like matches. I think it's four matches, but you do your how you play in future matches. Like, let's say you take four placement matches and you get in the top 50% or whatever that league is, and you get put in that league, 
and you just like you're on the top of your team like for four games straight or something and you have like 10 kds they're probably going to put you in the next league up and then see how you do from there exactly but i'm, I'm pretty sure there is like a that you don't just stay in the same league like you can't you get moved up based on how you perform in the also in the why league would you matches. throw your placement matches because then if you play against people that are better than you you're gonna get better and you're gonna get better and you're gonna be because just people great. because people like for YouTube Jeff's thinking of it from like youtubers that would do it yeah like trying to get gameplays but the thing That's is true. you're gonna be able to get those gameplays in the it's not an unranked playlist it's just a different playlist it's just like the normal playlist or whatever yeah like it's not it's it's sort of like elite playlist and non elite now that I think about it mm-hmm I'm you, probably just gonna play like the placement, see where I get put, and then just play regular. <laughs> I'll probably play honest. both. I'll play both. Um, I like competitive uh, I'll matches. I'll definitely play league play, and I'll definitely play. Um, league play sounds pretty fun. I'll definitely play normal matches too because that's what Call of Duty is all about, in my opinion. Yeah. All right, so I guess that gets the MLG focus thing done with. Um. So. Next zombies zombies. Yes, let's talk about zombies. So there's like three people zombies eat your brain. There's like um, well, I you know what? I'm just gonna call out syndicate fuck syndicate because he has played black ops 2 zombies and I don't like him because of it <laughs> But syndicate's awesome. I'm joking. I syndicate is awesome, but um Well, I don't think he tweeted me back Oh yeah, Same. guys, uh, people listening, Jeff tweeted Syndicate and was like, Hey, do you want to be a guest on a podcast with us? <laughs> uh, so yeah. He was definitely going to say yes, he just didn't check, you know. Yeah. Hashtag fuck Syndicate. Oh god, no. Oh, no. We love Syndicate. say that. We love, not, we love Syndicate. I've watched so many of his videos, it's not even We funny. love Syndicate. Fanboy status. Okay, Jeff's a, Jeff's a Syndicate fanboy. Okay, so um, next topic. Oh wait, no, no, we we didn't talk about yeah. So, zombies. Why are they not showing zombies? Does anybody have a clue? Why? To keep us in suspense. Uh, I, yeah, kind of like what Kurt saying, or just basically like a surprise. Type do thing. they? But do they think that? I would have thought that they would show zombies before multiplayer. Personally, maybe it's complete crap. Maybe they don't have any good graphics. Maybe it's just complete crap. Wait, but we've already seen the graphics. I noted. The graphics aren't gonna change. <laughs> hey, well, but um. What if they're like personally? I don't really give a shit if they show anything, because I kind of want the game to be a surprise. Actually, personally. you know what? They didn't show anything for Black Ops, if I remember right. I didn't remember seeing zombies in that game at all. Personally, like, I, I kind of like, like it that way. I like personally, I don't even care if they show multiplayer at all for any of the games. Hmm. See, but if they don't do that, then there's gonna be people people saying like, "Oh, the reason they're not shown is because it sucks," and they're just trying to get us to buy their game again, and then realize that it sucks. What I just said. That's 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 a uh, that's why I said personally. Yeah, I know, but um, I don't know. Impersonally, there's, there's gonna be a per there's gonna be people that hate on it either way. Yeah, there is. There's gonna be people that hate on everything. People are just gonna find ways to hate on it. I'm not, like, hating on the, the way they're doing it. I don't, like, care You know what, Luke? It. Stop being a hater of haters, okay? Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I, let's get off the Black Ops 2 stuff. Why don't we do that? Why don't we talk yeah. about something un-video game related? Like our inside jokes? Yes. No. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. So, I'm not sure if Stryker knows all these, to be honest. Stryker or Luke. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't think I know all of them. I mean, do we want to start, do we want to save the best for the last, or do we want to start from the top? Monopoly. Best for last, best, best for last. Okay. Monopoly, Monopoly, Monopoly. Can I just say one thing before we get to this? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Kurt, your fishing story's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let me explain what Striker's saying right now. So, a long time ago, we made a Thursday threesome, and Kurt told a story about how he caught, like, a oh. mom fish giving birth, and they, like, cut it open and stuff. And Stryker just watched that Thursday threesome, like, a couple of hours ago. <laughs> and, yeah, so that's what he's talking about right now, for those who are confused at what he's talking about. And if yeah. you want to know, I'm pretty sure, was it story time or something? Yeah, it was, it's called that. Thursday threesome story time. Um... I probably won't remember to leave a link in the description, so just look it up on my channel. But um, <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, okay, so inside jokes. I guess, okay, so Kurt wanted to start with, Kurt was yelling Monopoly. Basically what he's saying there is, so um, when I first met uh, like Jeff and Kurt and a lot of the people that I normally talk to online now, um, Not me. I always used to get called from my mom and my mom would be like, Brandon, come here or something. I'd be like, guys, I gotta go. My mom needs me or something. And um, and so they made up this thing that I was going to play Monopoly with her all these times. So now every time I have to like go use the restroom or something, it's not that I have to go use the restroom. I have to go play Monopoly with my mom. He's got to take his turn and go to jail. <laughs> so that's um. Yeah. And it's a little sexual. It's it's a board game. It's not sexual. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's my Monopoly inside joke thing. Um, okay. Do I, I, Jeff has a bunch of inside jokes. Yeah. Well, not not anymore on the computer. Oh yeah. So Jeff Jeff used to have like a computer that's um probably like less powerful than my phone. And um. <laughs> now my computer will like pick up your computer and body slam. Yeah. Oh, now I... I'm the one to laugh at when it comes to computers because Jeff has a beast computer. But um, so it used to be like Jeff's computer, lol. But now it's not so much. But, um, okay, so that's sort of a dead inside joke. Um, uh, but Jeff, if you guys didn't know, is Canadian. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, so feel free to make uh, millions of Canadian jokes in the comments. Um, hey, I'm not Canadian. Hashtag fuck Canadians. <laughs> I have relatives from Canada. My grandfather's from Canada. That's it. Yeah, what if, whatever. What if they call it duty, A? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I don't know I'm have... talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many. I know a bunch of Canadian people, and it's so like hip. You always make fun of them and think they're stereotypes, but they're all so true. Like the way they talk, it's really fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, um, okay. I feel like we're missing an inside joke on Jeff. No, you're not missing any. I thought he had three. Okay, so we'll yep. we'll move on to the D. Why not? We'll move on to the D or a buddy Ryan <laughs> Davis that we've talked 20, about. Twenty foul inches. So so if you guys didn't know this, uh, my friend Ryan Davis um, has a twenty four inch penis. <laughs> and yeah, so we like to bring that up often. So you guys will probably hear references to that. So Brandon will put a picture in the description. <laughs> <laughs> www.redtomb.com slash uh, Davis's penis. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so Jeff, uh, not Jeff. Um, Davis has a now, very large penis. Now on to Kurt. Oh wait, no, wait. I'm we're missing no? something with Davis. His nickname is also the D because his name is Davis. So yeah. No. So now on to Kurt, Jeff. You can do Kurt. Oh, oh I'd rather oh. not. I'd rather do oh. the inside joke. Actually. Oh, geez, <laughs> okay, geez. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so uh, Kurt, um. I'm gonna have to tell the story, and it can get a little awkward for you. So during the soccer season, uh, I was on Kurt's team, and Kurt has a hot sister. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you hear us making references to Kurt's hot sister, you know what's up. Yes, and we also have Straight a up. scale for uh, measuring women now, thanks to Kurt's sister. You hot tweeted level. You tweeted this the other day. No, yeah, actually earlier today, um, the deluxe four. He's a YouTuber. And um, I he, he's doing like a Q and A, and so I asked him how hot he was on a scale of one to Kurt's sister. And I'm hoping <laughs> that he answers that. I'm hoping that he's like, I don't know how hot Kurt's sister is, but um, I'm pretty hot. <laughs> I'm pretty damn hot. <laughs> Knowing the luck, she's gonna rip on himself and say I'm probably in the lower, lower regions of that. Cause the lower the luck, the the luck's always. Makes yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody else besides me and Striker watch Deluxe 4. He's like... Your boy, your boy, Deluxe. Yeah, okay, yeah, Jeff knows the song that Van Yay, Austin. Yeah, I'm a wee thought. Gentlemen, here we go, we go. Okay, so, yeah, that's Kurt's yeah, sister. And that's... Is that all of her inside jokes? No, we we got more. We definitely, definitely have more. I, I, just, oh, uh, yeah, I Nick. So, one Nick, thing. Nick, we, we forgot Nick. Oh, my Nick, God. Nick... Is obsessed with yeah new party or Nick? Yeah. He, oh my god. He has a lot of cats. Uh, actually, he doesn't. He has a few cats or a cat. He's two. He has he has two cats, but he's always saying how his cat is awesome and stuff, and he's always talking about his cat. So he said his cat's smarter than me once. Yeah. 
So That's Nick fair. is obsessed with cats, and he has a lot of them in Minecraft. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So every time uh -huh, I play with him, I always bring up his cats, and people get mad because all he does is ever talk about his cats. So that's that. Yeah. That is that. Okay. Alright, so, so next topic. Jeff, Jeff, did you have a story to tell us? I did. So I uh, just got back from soccer. Kurt was there. And it was a post okay. night. Okay. You go do that, Mr. Lax Pro. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> So I was eating my dinner and my mom's like, hey, Jeffrey, there's some watermelon in the fridge. And she says it in a pretty manly voice, you know. And I go, mom, this isn't watermelon. This is pineapple. He goes, no, Jeffrey. Wait, Jeff. That's watermelon. Jeff, can I, in can I interrupt you real fast? What? Jeff's mom used to be a WWE fighter, by the way. So that's why. That's why. Oh, she, yeah. has a, that's why. she has a higher testosterone level than Jeff. Yes. <laughs> so carry okay, on, Jeff. So, something about, okay, yeah. So mom, this is definitely pineapple. He goes, no, Jeffrey, look at it. I go, oh my god. We have yellow watermelon at my house. Do you have yellow watermelon at your house? I do not. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucking yellow watermelon. All the time. <laughs> so that's what they're calling it. All right. So, that felt good. I have kind Stop of a money, money, money. Okay, yeah. So, so I have a um. I can be on computer. I have a topic that's um. I've covered it in a video once. I'm not sure if everybody here's seen it, but you don't really have it. to. Um, I'm just curious what you guys think of money whores, because it seems like people have a problem with other people liking Slender. money and making money. Okay, so and trying so, to support a family. So Kurt <sighs> just said slender. So basically, um, if you guys don't understand what he's saying, so PewDiePie started this whole slender trend because he fucking put a video up of him playing slender and it got like a lot of views and he makes a ton of youtube money now because he's really good at youtube and entertaining rain. and um anyways yeah dude pewdiepie is killing it i don't watch him but i looked at his channel the other day and he gets like freaking 500k views a video and is ridiculous what the hell yeah did you see devilinator's uh, video oh yeah i did i didn't understand it i didn't understand it though no, I didn't really understand it, but it was funny. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it was just taking his reaction and putting a pug there. <laughs> okay. I like uh, I like New Party's reaction of playing Slender. Oh yeah, Nick posted a video of playing Slender. <laughs> but anyway, so I like your comment, Kurt. <laughs> Wait, okay, so I explain say? this. <laughs> he just he just orgasm. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so anyways, so. Do you do any of you guys in this call have a problem with people posting videos on YouTube and making money off of them? No. I think like go to town. Like if you have the balls to actually like do that and put up a video and not have people be like wicked gay and make stupid comments. More power to you. Raw instinct got so much. Oh god, shit. let's not talk about that. Oh my god. Um, I just want to oh. I just had to bring that up for a little bit. But, second, um, just... like, okay, so, I forgot, okay, here's what sparked this in my mind, because Fear Krads wanted to, like, play Slender and put a video on it, and he was, and, um, do a video of it, and he was talking about it on Twitter, and, um, he was like, I want to do it, but if I do, people will call me a money whore, and, <laughs> like, for me, I'm like, dude, it's your fucking channel who gives a fuck what dude, other people think. I I watch, like, every Fear Krads video. He's so good. I like him. I don't care. Like, if he wants oh, to do that, you, you care. go ahead. Seriously, like, I think it would be good. I want him to do that. Like, if he asked, what do you want to do, and I was thinking about Slender, dude, I'd be like, yeah, Fear Krads, play Slender. If he did it with him and his girlfriend, that would that'd be, be great. That would be a, a great video. It would probably top White Boys with his girlfriend, if you guys saw that. I don't know. No. White, has white has Syndicate put a, uh, made a Slender with his girlfriend? No, that would no, be good. I know he's with his, his, like, uh, I know he's made a video with, like, his, uh, sister's boyfriend or something. I have, like I have no idea. But I know that, um, I know that White Boy did one where his, he was playing Slender and K-Pop, his girlfriend, walked in and, uh, scared the crap out of him while he was playing oh, it. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was pretty good. <laughs> I, I remember that. Oh my god, he just started crying and he was 
Like that would scare me. And I'm um, pretty sure that people gave White Boy a lot of crap for posting that video too, which is really stupid in my opinion. <laughs> what you would know, you I don't do? Like... Did you guys? Uh, I just want to. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. What, what were okay. you saying, Jeff? White yes. Boy doesn't he have the most uh, subscribers for gaming? Not for like, gaming, definitely not for gaming. Probably, then what is it? probably for Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Yeah, probably for Call of Duty. I hate how much hate he gets, like, for just like being white boy. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I know. It's such a bullshit. I mean, it's not like he's had the easiest life. He, you kind of have to earn that position. And, have you, like, and people, people for some reason, like I haven't, I haven't been part of this community that long, but I know most of the history because I've listened to like every painkiller already. So, um. People give him all the beef for putting up, um, for doing giveaways, right? Like, everybody, when you think of giveaway, like, you don't think of other people that did giveaways. You think of White Boy, right? Yeah, mostly. But so other people did giveaways, too. Like, specifically, x -Jaws did giveaways. I'm pretty sure yep. x -Jaws didn't do them as much or something. And I'm, like, I, I watch, I watch White Boy's videos and x -Jaws. I'm not, I, I never had a problem with giveaways, really. I don't do giveaways, and I probably wouldn't have done them, but I don't have a problem with people that do. But, um, or that did. I guess it's not as big of a problem oh. anymore. But, um... You know what, uh, annoys me, though? People give white boy crap for doing giveaways. They'll give everybody crap for doing it. But they won't give people that do it, like, every day. Like, uh, SXE Phil. I love his videos. I watch every single one. But I never see someone saying, Oh, you're doing a giveaway. You're doing a giveaway. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, I love SXE Phil too. I watch his videos. I watch every video. I don't but... watch every video because I don't always like I watch a ton of videos and sometimes because I just run out of time. Loser. But I SXE can't. Phil is really really good. He's got a good thing going on there. Wow, like just going back to White Boy, he's had like the hardest life that basically like the hardest life you can imagine, and people give him shit for giving giveaway doing giveaways just. Doesn't make any sense I don't at all. think like the hardest light thing has that much to do with it to be honest like I understand what you're saying like I'm not taking that away from him that he had a hard life I don't know if that's taking something away from him but um but uh but still I don't think that people should give him a hard time for doing giveaways especially since it was so long ago but I guess it's not that big of an issue anymore he, white boy yeah, I don't... now pretty much white boy gets hated on for doing videos basically like posting videos on the internet it's like yeah. it's pretty <laughs> ridiculous but I guess that's really everybody who has any kind of it's audience. Like, you know what? If you don't like it, unsub. Go do Seriously, something else. Seriously, dude. People don't understand the concept. Like, if I start not liking a guy's videos, if I don't like a guy, like, there's... I don't like every commentator out there. There's people out there that, like, I would, you know, not talk to because I don't like them. But I don't go to every single one of those videos. Give them that view. Give them a, a rating, like a dislike. I don't give them a rating because ratings fucking help. <laughs> yeah, no matter what kind of rating it is, it still helps you. And um, and then I just ignore them. That's that's what you gotta do. You just gotta if ignore them. That's like raw instinct. People are fucking stupid. No, I'll Everyone, say one like... thing with the raw instinct thing. I have gone to his channel and clicked refresh a few times. That is some fun shit. Just looking at his subscribers go down. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, it's it's pretty funny. But um. Like I don't go into every Raw Instinct video and just like comment your you copy T Mark seriously. and all this shit. Like, it seriously if they copy T Mark, then don't watch them. They're gonna if no one watches him, then he's, he's gonna get audience. fucked over. Seriously, and he's not gonna do anything. Here's what I would do if I was Raw Instinct. I'm just gonna say this right now. I like um okay so I don't know I've um recently played with Mr. Zabsan a few times, and um. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about that. Never mind. But um, <laughs> never mind. I'm just gonna scratch what I just said. I make an apology. No, you know, no, that's not that could work, but I don't think it. It it was it's there. Not. This is something like this. What he did, like what what he got exposed for doing, I'll say, is um, it's not something where you can just do one po apology video, probably lose a few fans, and then just keep going and not have you know two thousand dislikes on every one of your video. It's gonna stick with him. It's gonna be, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm pretty sure Striker knows this reference, but it's gonna be just as bad as G Unit, if not worse. Yeah, G Unit. Oh God, G Unit. Don't even. <laughs> it's gonna be just as bad as that, if not worse. God, G Unit. Like the second that got out, he just people gave him so much shit. He's. I'm pretty sure he's done with videos. Yeah, I don't. I checked his channel a long time ago, and I don't even think I like. 
I think the last video was like almost a year ago wow. or more or something. Yeah. Or so, maybe um, more. If you guys don't know what you're talking about, G Unit like faked a nuke in Modern Warfare 2 and he got so much shit for it. And now he's not doing YouTube. What do you. He oh, he, in a nuke or something? he faked a nuke. No, he so he had people join a session, and then so what they did is on terminal they all just ran to B. They waited until he like jumped out of the window and just ran on B and just sat there. And he threw a semtex, got a multi, he got he got a harrier, then called the harrier in their spawn. They didn't leave the spawn, so it like instantly got a chopper gunner, and then went from there. And it was like the fastest nuke. Yeah, cause like the first um. And I'm pretty sure he yeah, didn't. Here's... I'm pretty sure he didn't fire a gunshot at all. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, uh, he got basically got a chopper gun on the first like airstrike drop thing of the Harrier, and like didn't even have to let let the ha actual Harrier wow. car shoot anyone. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm... I never watched the video. I just heard the stories of it. But yeah, like I was saying. What Raw Instinct did, it's it's probably worse than this, and I think the community will recognize it as worse. Like, or does recognize it at worst, I guess, because it's not, like, in future reference. But, um... Plagiarism, basically. I think that it's, it's, you know, if he... Here's what he should do. He shouldn't stop posting. He should freaking roll with it, right? Every T. Martin vid. He should, like... If T. Martin... Like, he should pretty much say the same things in everything. He should just roll with it and... Copy, paste. Copy, Seriously, paste. Seriously, dude. Paste. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know what? It would be funny if he downloaded one of T-Mart's videos and then uploaded it. Just re-uploaded it. <laughs> and it was like, hey, guys, it's T-Mart here. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, no, just, like, recorded over it. Oh, yeah. Like... What if the video was, like, he didn't even full screen his thing. He just recorded the YouTube page. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. Uh, that he would, almost made me choke on my water just then. That would be hilarious. Um, but yeah. Watching Jeff uh, choke on his water. I don't know. That's probably not like yeah. a really legit that thing, but I think that would be awesome. I would probably watch Raw Instinct if he did that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> me too. I, I would just like. He has some subscriber for huge me. balls to do that. Uh, <laughs> Dude, his balls must like be the size of fucking. Bad I got a balls. question. I got a question for you guys. I'm not. I'm pretty sure I probably follow the community more than anybody else here. Yeah. Yeah, probably. probably. Um, but, like, when that happened, like, so I knew that Raw Instinct was copying his videos. Like, uh, T. Martin's tweeted about it a few times. Like, he's, um, he's, like, twit-picked one of his videos, and it has, like, the same title and the same thumbnail, pretty much. And he's like, what the fuck is up with this? I uploaded the same thing a week ago, and this dude's fucking stealing it. And he would, like, tweet at YouTube and, like, Say he's talking to Machinima and stuff, and it was like he was on Twitter. It wasn't like he was talking in Skype and doing this. Like he was, you know, it was pretty open about it. It, it. Like he wasn't posting videos about it, but he was talking about it on Twitter. And like I knew about it, and I don't have any. Like I like T. Martin, but I don't know if he took that too far or not. Dude, he didn't even. No, you know what? Yeah, I... he definitely did not take it too far. He didn't take it, it far enough, good. in my opinion. He never even brought yeah. it up on his channel. He didn't. If you already ca didn't make a yeah, video if you or watch cat, if you just watch YouTube casually, like you don't follow anyone on Twitter, if you just watch YouTube videos because you like him and you don't really follow the community, you have no fucking clue that Raw and like you d you you don't even know the relationship between um, T Martin and Raw Instinct. If you watch them both, you just know that they both make similar videos. Um, but. But, like, because T-Mart never posted a video, he never, because in Machinima, like, if you're a Machinima partner, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're a Machinima partner, you can't post, um, you can't talk bad about other, um, Machinima partners. No, not, no, other YouTubers at all, I'm pretty sure, um, via YouTube. I'm pretty sure on Twitter, you know, it's free reign, because you're not getting paid for Twitter, but, um, mm -hmm. but on YouTube, it's, it's very not free reign. Stick to the script. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Okay. Next topic. Next topic. So um. Ice ice cream truck by Caswell. Oh my God! Fuck you. <laughs> oh my. Okay. If I just need to say, everyone that is watching this or ends up watching this, go on YouTube and search "ice cream truck featuring Caswell" and watch the music video. That's all I'm gonna say. And then comment how long it took for you to click X on that tab. Yeah. Because yeah. it is, yeah, let's not give it away, but it is, yeah. I was about to do that, but now that you said that, screw you. 
<laughs> no, you should definitely watch it and tell us. It's not like it's not like anything. It's not like it's not like it's creepy. It's not like creepy as porn like what is uh, this? bestiality or anything. <laughs> what is it? Just, just Ice a... cream truck featuring Ca Caswell. Cas C A Z well. Okay. Anyways, um, so I have a good question for you guys. I, th I saw this on Facebook or something today, and I thought it'd be super, super interesting to ask. And I don't have an answer to it yet. I have to think about it. But if you I could, know, same. if you could live in a video game, which one would it be and why? Dude, that's so hard. Uh, oh um, fuck. Dude, there's no, to go. There's, there's no Hello Kitty Island adventure. Yolo. <laughs> no. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with uh. Lower Croft Tomb Raider. Mm. You know what? In all seriousness, seriousness, I really have no idea. See, I was gonna say <laughs> Club Penguin, but then I thought, <laughs> why not? Why would you want to be a not fucking Call of Duty? Why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Call of Duty. I can die as many times as I want exactly. and come mm. back every time. I'm trying to think, what game has hot women in it that you interact with? GTA. That's what Got I was thinking, GTA. I don't want to be in Grand Theft Auto, though. That just... I don't want to live in the thug life, you know what I'm saying? I just have to say one thing. Have you guys seen uh, Skyrim? Like, uh, if you have a Sneak 100 or whatever... I don't want to be in can, Skyrim, though. I thought about that. You can, you can take women's clothes straight off. You can what? With what? Like I sneak Skyrim. You know what? I've changed can... my mind. Skyrim is my choice. You, yeah, they're literally walking around naked. I Man, saw a video on YouTube. That? It was like you have to get like. <laughs> um, you literally wait, wait, get like let me turn uh, on my PS3. I'm testing this. Just kidding. Dude. Just kidding. You you like I saw a YouTube video. I don't know if it was some kind of fucking mod. like a uh, download thing, mod, but they were. Basically, literally walking around naked, ass naked. That is awesome. I want that. Nothing. If they're kind of gross, there wasn't much hygiene. Going on nothing. Now, yeah, it, that's no, it's true. Just, I, I like, definitely, I was joking. I don't want to be in Skyrim. All of a sudden, he's joking. No, I, I was joking when I said yeah. that. But um, I don't know. Chief. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in Call of Duty. That's for sure. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, isn't it? I have a good one. Screw it, Minecraft. Minecraft would be like isolation though, unless you're on a server. Yeah, dude. Need for speed. Need, Need for speed. No. Yes. No. You get to drive fast cars. What about like? And what about Gotham City imposters? Ew. Th what? No. No. What? What? Wait. How is that even like an option? You just—it's Call of Duty. No. It's Call no, of it's Duty. Not. But, like. Gotham no, it's a bunch of fat Batman's running no, around. No, there's girls in that game for one. There's women. It you know, it's Call of Duty, but women with skimpy, Batman. There's women with skimpy clothes on in that game. There's fun stuff you can bounce on trampolines. <laughs> yeah, but you can't. You can like, use freaking katanas. The, you can't like rip the women's clothes off. They're practically are all, all the way off, dude. You can try. <laughs> Hit him with oh, the wait, katana. Wait, wait, wait. Does this question include like? Does that character have to do it, or can you like do whatever you want? I'm guessing you can do whatever you want. Sims. Sims. Sims? Sims? No, Sims, Sims is just like this life, though. Sims, dude. Yeah, Sims. it's the same thing, except someone exactly. keeps calling me. Yeah, exactly. you want to be in like something cool. I'm thinking Gotham City and Pops is a good choice. I feel like we're missing something. Like missing Fuck like you. a I'm big one. Three, I'm going Sims. It'd be cool to be in like that in like a really like legit Batman game. Like if it was like the movies. Luke, Luke we're getting yeah. a part in Sims. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> You know, actually, you know, screw Minecraft. I feel like there's like. Why would you go Minecraft? That's just dumb. Minecraft. I, would, screw yeah, Minecraft. I don't think Minecraft is a good choice. I know, but why would why would you even question my like Minecraft in your why mind? Why would you want to live the same life you're living? Yeah, Give, yeah, I know, right? You're like Sims. Yeah, Sims, guys. Let's simulate real life. <laughs> Why would you like? Cause this is the you best life you can possibly over. have. I think I have the best choice so far. I think Gotham City Imposter is definitely the best one. I no, we're missing something. It's gonna be like no. Sims. Sims is, you guys are dumb. You guys are dumb. Sims is not Sims a good choice. Yes, it is. Why would you not? This is the best life you can possibly have. Why would you want to be die over and over and be shot all the time? That's not. That's no fun. Dude, dude, if you play Call of Duty, you just use blind ass ass and ACR suppressed. 
You're good. And you never die. Yeah, stalker. Stalker pro. <laughs> then you can just sit there and watch people run by and get killed and be like, haha, you died. <laughs> you can just play dead, dude. Fuck that, no. Why would I- Dude, you, you know what, wait, saying... I figured out my choice. I wanna be in- Oh, no. I wanna be- No, what? no, 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 shut up. Wait, Stop. okay, go, go ahead. No, this, so you're, you're basically saying your whole life you wanna live in a corner and act like you're dead. I was joking. <laughs> Here's a legit choice. That, 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 no, that's what you're I'm gonna saying. be in Call of Duty, Search and Destroy, and I'm gonna have a freaking Deluxe 4 shoutcasting my life in Call of uh -huh. Duty. <laughs> oh my god. Um, see, Dude, uh, okay, yeah. wait. Uh, going off, I, after I finish this, I have another... Actually, somewhat... screw up. I'm in Barbie Adventureland, whatever that okay. is. Okay, okay, good enough. Good enough. Are you and Kurt okay. really choosing Sims, Luke? <laughs> yes. Okay, you guys have no imagination. We're already getting an apartment. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yes. Next topic. Okay, no, no, I have a, I have a topic. So if someone was going to basically commentate your life, who would it be? Morgan Freeman? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Morgan that's, the, that's the most obvious choice. Who? Good choice. Morgan Freeman. The best choice. Yeah. Uh, pick that. Bad, luck bad luck Brian. Bad luck Brian. I would want Batman. No, a real person, a real life person. I um, think Clint Eastwood man. would be a good choice as well. Dude, yeah. Dude? Clint Eastwood? Dude? Oh, Clint, yeah. Today I... he woke up and had a bowl of cereal. <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to say boner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. He had a massive bowl Morning of cereal. Boning wood. Uh, I remember when Black Box, the map Black Box in Call of Duty was getting leaked and people said the t the name of it was Morningwood. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what, I swear to God, I saw videos of it called Morningwood. Maybe that's what you were thinking. No, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I actually feel like I saw some map. I no, I, I some swear to God, I've seen a video where, where the okay, map is. Okay, what, how do you, do you like the Modern Warfare 3 map packs whatsoever? Some, uh, some, some of them. Here, let me... I haven't played all the new... I haven't... I've only got to play Decommission from the new ones, and Terminal, obviously, because Modern Warfare 3 is now Terminal 24 You play, like, Oasis or anything? Oasis is not bad. Oasis is not bad, I think. It's a decent... Oasis... Game. Oasis is pretty good, but Black Box, I don't really like that much. Guys, I've played a lot of them. I've played, like, Aground, Erosion, <laughs> Terminal... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, so, but I've played them all, basically, and I really don't like them. Me and Luke love to play 2v2s. Fuck, I, I hate you. Every time you join my lobby or something, you're like, you guys want to go play 2v3s? And I, it pisses me off, because I hate 2 We'll have, like, 12 people in a party, and Kurt's like, anyone want to do face-off? <laughs> it's, it's just the most annoying one. one. And I don't even like face-off, and he just does that to piss me off. <laughs> And, if I, if, and every time he says that, if I'm the host, I kick him. <laughs> oh, Striker, you're a good host, dude. You find tons of noob lobbies. I don't even know why. It's awesome. I get. I'm. I'm thinking. Because he's a noob. He's a noob. I think it's because of the location. I think East Coast gamers are just more hardcore. Yeah, dude. You know, in Missouri, we have some some pretty shitty gamers. Yeah, dude. <laughs> So, like Mercadurka. Oh god. Oh yeah. So um, I guess Mercadurka is really close to where Striker is. Yeah. He, he actually. Well, I don't. Yeah. He. I know he goes to SLU, which is really close to me. St. Louis University. Yes. If you guys are, do not know which St. Louis University. Well, I'm pretty sure SLU isn't a universal term. I was explaining to the viewers. But anyways, um, anyone else got a topic? Nope. Uh, no. If you could have one job, what would it be? One job? I think it's gotta be... YouTube commentator? Mm. Professional gamer. <laughs> YOLO. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know, I think... If, okay, how would it... If you, could, computers. if you can make... If you could have a job... If every job paid the same, what and what job would you have? A fryer at McDonald's. Fuck that shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that not kind of close to home brand. Okay, what? Okay, maybe. Okay, how about a job that you can in? I don't even like a job that's not just something retarded like Kurt option. I would like if I could like have money. I want to be like independently wealthy. 
like from something that I did, like one project that I did, like that got me independently wealthy. Like for example, oh. if you guys don't know who DJ Keemstar is, he's basically like independently wealthy off of Fortress Craft, which is a game on Xbox Live. And so he does YouTube too and stuff, but like he doesn't have to worry about money or anything because he's pretty much independently wealthy, wealthy blech, off this game. And it's really uh, like I don't know. It just seems like it'd be super convenient and it'd be awesome because you can pretty much do whatever you want. I just do you you know on a uh, Sports Center, the little bar at the bottom that like shows scores and yes. all that. I uh, know the guy that made that and. Nah. -uh. Yeah. That's awesome. He's my neighbor. Oh. It's my neighbor's uncle, and like we just, me and our neighbors are we're really good friends, and we used to every year go down to that his house in Florida. That's my mom's old sorority. Uh, my Shut mom's up. old sorority sister was the first intern at ESPN. Holy cow! Okay, well I'm gonna top all that right now. <laughs> my aunt's brother just broke a world record. Oh yeah. Oh, you sold the, oh, what yeah, was it? Yeah, sold the most expensive video game ever. You, How about that? you told us about this. What is the video yeah, game? Yeah, well, I didn't tell them. Well, yeah, you told me yeah. about this. So, can you explain this in more detail or no? Uh, I wasn't really told all that much because it's kind of... He had to shun, like, a disclosure agreement or something. But, basically, it was a uh, Zelda prototype, I think. Huh. That's and really cool. It literally looked like piece of crap but it was like fifty thousand dollars or something like that wow it was like okay go buy yourself a car a boat whatever you like <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that is cool so apparently we have um, oh. people that know people that are pretty cool well, it's really not my aunt it's married into but they divorced i also um i'm yeah i have a married into cousin that was a pitcher in the mlb i don't know if you know him is matt morris i don't know if you've ever yes seen him. yeah he's my Cardinals. cousin wow. my marriage. yeah i i don't know if i know anybody that's real famous and another uh since you guys don't play lacrosse um did you lacrosse.com oh you guys would know eurosport yeah yeah i know my dad's uh roommate in college like is the founder of eurosport can you free stuff <laughs> uh, I don't think so, since I don't really know you <laughs> all that well. But my address, I can. My address, my address is. <laughs> Got that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, then my grandmother's uncle, I believe, his name was not gonna say. Um, but <laughs> he was in a bunch of movies in like the 50s, 60s, something like that. Like the creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm gonna top all of you. I just thought of something. My grandfather, on my mom's side, divined, d designed the nose cone for NASA, for a rocket. Holy shit! I don't even know anything. Like I don't have any <laughs> famous people. Brandon's a loser. I'm a loser. My friend. My friend. Oh, oh, Brandon. You might know him. Um, uh, what's his name? Do you know? You know, I know this guy that makes really awesome montages on YouTube named Devlinator. Oh come on, what's his name? Dude, no way. Uh, what the hell? I can't think of his name. His name's Steven, and he's on the charges. I think. Steven Gregory? No. Mm -hmm. Steven, Steven Mr. Cooper? O yeah, him. He's a middle linebacker. My friend's related cousins, first cousin. Is your friend black? Yes. Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> uh, Steven Cooper is a boss, my friend. I love Steven Cooper. Yeah. Oh, and then... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, actually, I also know another famous person, but... I don't actually first. know any of these famous people, but, you know... <laughs> You're in... I know them, uh, but I know them. Do you guys... Any of you play hockey or follow hockey at all? No. No. Okay. Well, um... So, my friend from I mean, school, don't tell the story. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling the story anyways. Uh, my friend from school, his dad and uncle both played for the Blues, oh, and really? they, yeah, they, they actually played, they were like, the, I think their nickname was like the Flying Cavallini Brothers, but, wow. Yeah, and they're, they're, Next if you story. didn't, if, they're Canadian, you know and that's what? how I know I all the stereotypes. I, no, I just no, thought of something. Done. I just thought of not something. Done. Famous people. I just thought of something, guys. 
to. I. But... You guys are not gonna know who this is. He's like the third string quarterback for the Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love the Buccaneers, but I don't know. That. His name is Rudy Carpenter. So he used to play for Arizona State University, and I'm an Arizona State University friend or fan. Blech. And um, we went to a game one year. And after we went to Denny's to eat dinner, and he was like at the table next to us. That's pretty cool. Yes, and the reason Damn. we did it, it was so awkward, right? Because me and my friend are both wearing a jersey, like with like with his number on it. Because in college <laughs> you don't have the names, and I wasn't. I thought it was him like the whole time, but I wasn't sure. And um, and then I remember that in the game he got like sacked, and his nose started bleeding, and his nose was all bloody at the table. And I heard one of the people he was with say Rudy, because his name's Rudy Carpenter. If you guys want, you can look it up, his, um, Rudy Carpenter. He exists, I swear. Yes, he exists. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if he still is, but like a year or two ago, he was the third string quarterback on the Buccaneers. Okay, that is awesome. That is awesome. So you're okay. telling us, you're telling us a story about how you saw Sa a sat famous next person. To at a Denny's restaurant and heard... <laughs> I think they just popped everybody, guys. I, I saw uh, <laughs> Yadier Molina at the mall. Uh, what? Do, wow. do you guys know who Yadier Molina? Yeah, catch it. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah, anyway. I saw him at the mall. So, uh, I saw. Kurt, I saw. I saw Kurt, Tim. Up, hold on, hold on. I saw Tim Wakefield. I saw Tim Wakefield at the Independence Mall in Kingston, one year. Really? Yeah. Signing autographs because I saw Ortiz there once. Oh, you know what? I saw. He was just walking with sunglasses. He was walking out, and I was like, "Dad, I think that's Tim Wakefield." And he was like, "Oh, I don't know." And we drove by, and it was Tim Wakefield. Awesome. Okay, so okay, I've I've been trying to tell this one. Fucking head. I am taking priority seating on this flight. First class. Okay, so Kurt and I know someone that's related to Alicia Keys. Who? Oh yeah. Don't no. Don't. Uh, uh, I know someone related to uh. Fuck. Let me think. You you go ahead. Okay. With your okay. So I well, yeah. while I was at Pax, I saw two people. Okay. One of them was the guy that Dumb does all the the guy that does like all the interviews for Inside Gaming. He's like he's got short black hair and he's like really skinny and he looks kind of like he's awkward when he's talking to people. Um, that guy, and then um. And then I also saw Hastro there. Don't know who that is. Yeah. Oh, I know who Hastro is. Do you don't? I do. You do? So he yeah. um he was the guy who did all the shout casting for the Black Ops 2 multiplayer at the live streams. Yeah. Uh, and he was also the leader of Team Envious at the time. So yeah. There you go. I saw him in real life, so get on my level. God, I can't know, but he's a rapper. I can't think of his name. But, um, I know his, like, cousin or something. So, that's that. I played with well, Wings of Redemption once. Does that count? That's a. I once Dude, got a fish this big. I once got a support UAV. I once got a support <laughs> UAV. <laughs> Alright, next, next topic. Line. Yeah, sure. Not no more famous people. No more famous. If people. I ever, if I remember the rapper's name, I'll tell you. But then we'll get off that right away. All right, but. all right. So, I think we're sort of getting towards the end of this here. Um, so what we're gonna try to do at the end of these podcasts, guys, is do a segment. And we actually, I think I did this for a Thursday threesome one time. Um, I was there. Huh? Maybe that. You guys both talked at the same time. Or, he, said, he, said I was, he said I was there. I don't know what Kurt said, but Jeff said I was there. Okay, so anyways. Um, a fuck one, kill one, marry one segment. We're going to try to do this. So I've already picked out the... We're going to do two. We're going to do two ones, and we're going to go around the table. So... Striker, dude, come on. We can't hear you. Yeah, what's <laughs> up with that? Come on. All right, so the first one is going to be fun. So... So you're gonna have to do a fuck one, kill one, marry one situation with these three choices, okay? Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn, okay. and Steve Carroll. And if ah, oh, I just have to kill Steve Carroll. I hate him. <laughs> God. Okay, uh, who's going first? I will, since I already said that. I'd have to kill Steve Carroll. Oh, this is so awkward because we're all men. <laughs> really, I um, would never guess that it'd be awkward. 
I would marry... Uh... I guess Will Ferrell. And, um... Yeah, so... Then I fuck Vince Vaughn. I wanna go last on this one. Oh, and I also... Talking about Will Ferrell, I saw him at at beach once. Okay. So that, that. Okay. This is how it's gonna go down. Vince Vaughn, you're dead to me. No, uh, Steve Carell's the most annoying fucking person ever. You're wrong. Vince Vaughn is dead to me. Steve Carell is my F1. <laughs> Will Ferrell, I'm gonna marry him because he's so funny. You know. Dude, I hate you. I, I okay. really hate you. Okay. 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 Go ahead. I'm. I'm gonna do Will Ferrell because he has nice hair. Um, <laughs> Kurt's, giving us, Kurt's giving us a legit list. He's not even like he's not even hesitating. Go, just go. Dude, I had this planned out. You don't even know. Uh, I'm gonna marry Steve Carell just because he's skinny and I can overpower him. Um, what was the last one? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Oh yeah, I can shoot him in the face. That's fine. Okay, so is it is it my turn? Yes. Okay, so I've got yep. this perfect. So, I'm gonna kill Vince Vaughn. That's what's gonna happen here. <laughs> no, you guys no, are all wrong. Oh, you guys are <laughs> Steve Carell. It's funny. Can... I, I, Seriously? No. I, I like no, Steve no, no, Carell. No. Have you ever seen I, Have you ever seen Dinner for Schmucks? Yes. yes. So that movie's good. hilarious. That was like the only movie of his that I actually liked. I liked I really his... Wait, what was that movie Seriously? he was in with, um, where it was like an action movie? Oh fucking! I can't remember. Oh oh, I th uh, he was like an he was there... like an agent or something in The Rock. Yeah, it, it was a remake. <laughs> okay. No, it was a remake. Bond was... Burgundy. I can't think of it, but anyways. Get smart. Get smart. Yes, get smart. That's what, exactly what it is. Okay, so I like two of his, <laughs> but maybe three. But seriously, I hate a lot of his other shows. Okay, so movies. Steve Carell. So I'm going to marry Steve Carell because he just seems like a nice guy, the nicest of the three. And I'm gonna fuck Will Ferrell because Gator don't play no shit. You guys... Does anybody get that reference? Please tell me. No. I am too paralyzed. You guys never saw the other guys. Wait, re repeat the line. Gator don't play no shit. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. No. I do I hit you. Oh, you guys never saw the other guys besides Striker? I, that was funny. That was a good movie. That movie, that was, movie was great. That movie's awesome. Have you guys seen uh, 21 Jump Street? I haven't. Yeah, no, good movie. I haven't. Dude, that's, that's, a, that, that's a great movie. Project X. Yes, please. I want to see that. I want to see that. I, I, want, I want to see that really bad. Okay. Ice Age Continental Drift is a good movie. So, <laughs> we're going to... I'm not we're kidding. Gonna end this, we're going to... Yes. <laughs> Toy Story 3. We're going... You... Toy Story 3 is awesome. Don't diss Toy Story. Toy Story is the fucking shit. Dude, Toy Story... Oh, I... The first... In, like, they scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I had that bit, little bait, the doll that like the baby's head that like had no hair. It freaked the shit out of me. <laughs> and same with Harry Potter. I hated Harry Potter. In that one movie where his arm, like he tried, he broke his arm, and then they tried to fix it, but he did the wrong spell, so his arm had no bones. That scared the shit out of me. Dude, all those, all the Harry Potters are messed up. I love Harry Potter. It, I'm a Harry Potter nerd. It, it, it freaked my shit. Okay, okay, so yeah. th this is the last F1 kill one marry one, and then we can wrap this thing up. Right. So this one's gonna be pretty pretty fun, and it's gonna make our imaginations run wild. The choices are Ashanti, Carrie Hilson, and Rihanna. And if you guys don't- Who's the you can, crap I can open Kurt, up the yeah, website Kurt, you can look at the link, it's in the Skype chat, sorry about that guys. Ashanti? Yeah, it's- if you just scroll She's down a little exactly bit, it's bad. number three on the list. Wait, wait, I, I can, can you repeat the list one more time? Um, Ashanti, Carrie Hilson, and Rihanna. Okay, I need to look up Carrie Hilson and Ashanti. Oh, wait a minute, is Ashanti the one above? Carrie Hilson. Are the numbers? It, it, yeah, Ashanti's oh, the one on top, and Carrie Hilson's the one under that, and then Rihanna's the last one, with no picture. Oh, never mind, um, Ashanti, you're dead to me. Um, I can't see the see. picture of Ashanti. Carrie Ashanti's Hilson. the one on top. No. I'm gonna do her, and Rihanna, you're marrying me. Ashanti's the one on top, dude. What? what? Dude, oh, I found her. That's why she's dead to me. Yeah. Ashanti Green? Is it just Ashanti? Wait, oh. no. 
I don't get it. What? Rihanna, Carrie Hilson, and Ashanti is number three. Yeah, Ashanti is the one with number three above her, and the name Ashanti above her. Come on, guys. Yeah, and then the one above that is the... Is not... Wait, oh, no, wait, Carrie. The one above that is not relevant. Rihanna's the one at the bottom. Let me look up There's Carrie. no picture for Rihanna. But I'm pretty sure oh, there no, isn't? but I'm pretty sure we all know what Rihanna looks like. Okay. I thought that was Rihanna. No, that's Carrie Hilson. Ooh, Ashanti. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna kill Carrie Hilson. Okay. The what? I've got mine yeah, I've got mine picked out if you guys want me to go. Oh uh, no, go I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, okay, I wanna go. Go, I wanna go. go ahead. <sighs> I'd marry Rihanna. Dude, this is hard. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll make sure I, to put this link in the, um, in the, ch um, actually, you know what, just look up Ashanti, Carrie Hilson, and Rihanna, because the link isn't, you guys are going to have to, like, scroll down and stuff, it's going to be weird. You know what, you know what, kill Ashanti, I'm going to do Carrie Hilson, okay, that Mine's works. the same, I'm marrying Rihanna, effing Carrie Hilson, and killing Ashanti. Ashanti just, she's good looking, but she it's not. She looks scary. She looks, she looks a little bit fake to me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you guys. Yeah, and Carrie Hilson no. just looks fit, and Rihanna is like a fantasy of mine, not gonna lie. Uh, to me, you know what, I'm just gonna kill Carrie Hilson and probably marry Rihanna, and then he got the rest. <laughs> okay, Jeff, did you go? Okay, so me, yeah, wait, so everybody yeah. agreed except for Stryker? Yep. yep. So everybody's gonna marry Rihanna, okay. Nice. Polygamy for the win. <laughs> oh god, but the other way around. Yeah. Oh, okay. So does anybody else have it? Can we do something with... What was the one we made before? Huh? The, like, Pamela Anderson one? What was that? <laughs> okay, yeah, Kurt. We'll, we'll do one more F1, kill one, marry one. Go ahead, Kurt. Name... No, but let's re replace... Uh, Replace Pamela Anderson with Kate Upton. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, don't do that to me, that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie Iglesias, Kate Upton, and... What was the other one? Yeah, I don't oh. remember the other one, Selena though. Gomez. Selena yeah, Gomez. Yeah, Selena Gomez. Okay, so... Okay, I'll go. Go ahead, I've already got I'll go. I'll go last. Okay, Gomez, you're dead, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna marry Iglesias and Kate Upton. That's my F1. So easy. Go ahead. I, I can go. I can uh, go if you don't if you're not ready. I'll go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I think I'm gonna agree with Jeff on killing. Uh, what's her face? Selena Gomez. And I think I'm gonna f Melanie Iglesias and then marry Kate up. That's, yeah, those are my choices. Okay, so I'm going to kill Selena Gomez as well, and I'm going to marry Kate Upton and F Mel Melanie Iglesias. Here's why. First off, Selena Gomez is not on those other girls' levels. So those two are like, oh, Selena Gomez is like an eight. Those two are like Kurt's sister. And, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. and I just think that Kate Upton is, is better for me personally. You know she's only like 20 or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, really okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. I have one more. What if we replace Selena Gomez? I haven't gone with yet. Decker? Just let, just let Kurt go. Okay, go Kurt. I will do Kate Upton, marry Melanie, and kill Selena. That's my boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what if we replace Selena with Brooklyn Decker? Oh god, I'd like be that. so confused. <laughs> I know. I think I'd probably kill. Uh, I'd probably. K Melody. I don't know, man. Melody. I think I'd kill Melanie. I don't know. I might have to kill Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard. Dude, look up Brooklyn Decker. Dude, I know. Her. I know who she is, dude. Trust me. I know. She, she, she like. I'm pretty sure she launched me into puberty, dude. <laughs> dude, no. I don't know about that. Brooklyn Decker. Brooklyn Decker. Decker. Brooklyn Decker. But oh. anyways, Kurt, did you oh, go? Okay. Kurt, did you go? Okay, for what? For Selena, I'm killing for Selena Melanie. Melanie, and um. Dude, I will kill you yes, if you are. Yes, I did. No I'm okay. killing Melanie. I'm sorry. Guys, listen, we got we gotta stop here because we're gonna we're gonna do all the F1 kill ones in one episode. And we're never gonna be able to do it again. Okay, just stop this one. But I'm killing, I'm killing Melanie, and uh. You're gonna die in a hole. 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna marry Kate Upton again, and then again. you know what? I'm gonna have to get a refresher on Brooklyn here. I don't. I don't want to just kill her without giving her a chance, because man, Melanie, Dude, it's gonna be tough. Fun. It's between. I'm definitely not gonna kill uh, Kate Upton. I'm definitely. Not I'm definitely. Kids. I'm definitely killing killing Melanie. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kate and Kate would be dead before Iglesias over here. So, Dude, Sam, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm so right. Iglesias is so small, though. It's like in the palm of your hand. <laughs> That's what makes her great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to kill Brooklyn. She's yeah. really good looking, but man. It's so hard. It's between her and Melanie. I think Melanie's got the edge. Speaking of real hard, <laughs> trigonometry. <laughs> trigonometry. <laughs> uh, gravity, Jeff. Gravity. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's okay. about wrap this yeah, up. Yeah. All right. So do you guys want to say goodbye? Oh yes. Peace, be peace and buckaroos. Oh god. See ya. May the odds be ever in your favor, or something along those lines. Um, okay. Alright, I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Aim Down Sight or ADS. And hopefully leave a comment, favorite, and a like if you watch the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Um anyways. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll have one out every week for you guys.